Now the conclusion of part two to Flames of a Tiger. Life gets m much worse for Jews now. Dieter is walking home from school one day and he sees that Mr. and Mrs. Rothstein are being marched into a truck. He believes that the Jews are being resettled in the East. That Christmas in 1943, Reinhard returns home for Christmas again. Dieter noticed that he has changed. Reinhardt is very dull and his eyes have lost their sparkle. At dinner, Ernst loses his temper and expresses his opinion and the Jews about the war. He is very angry and is that everything is being blamed on the Jews and the barbaric treatment of them. He believes that Hitler has ruined the country all because his theory of an Aryan race which would be perfect. Uh, which would also include the description would mean blonde hair and blue eyes, which Hitler did not have. He had black hair. Reinhard tells his family that the younger boys will now be conscripted. He convinces that his fa he convinces the family that Dieter. Uh, to sign up right away so Dieter can be in Reinhardt's unit. Current time. Joe talks to Dieter and why he joined the army to fight in Germany. Joe remembers his uncle fighting in Italy against Mussolini. Joe also wanted to stop fascism and is that's why he joined the army. Flashback. Dieter is with Reinhardt in Kiane a battle and has become a soldier now. He is almost killed by a tank but Reinhard saves him. And then this is current time. Joe was also at KN. He says that the SS soldiers were worse because they would be hiding and then the soldiers like Joe would come out and then these crazy SS soldiers would be just willing to die for the fatherland and Joe said he had been slashed by the same knife that Dieter has which is the SS knife that they give the boys now this is a flashback Dieter injured his arm at home and now he's back for Christmas he notices how Greta has good at scrounging she even steals a pair of dead, uh, um, a dead man's shoes off a, which was a corpse just lying on the ground for who knows how long. The family is now living in poverty. Ernst has to cut up the family dining room table for firewood. Dieter's mother t makes him a promise that he has to go see his uncle and his father makes him a promise to go to Canada if anything happens. One day while Greta and Dieter are out in Berlin to get rotations, there's a bombing raid and Greta's flute is destroyed. She seems more upset about this than anything else. Dieter is worried about his family and Re in Reinhard returns home in April. He admits that the Germans are going to lose the war. He tells Dieter that he and Greta must leave and then tells Dieter that the truth about the Jews. They have all been sent to concentration camps and many have been murdered and died of diseases like typhus. Soon after, 
Pierre's mother and father are killed by a shelling when they go out onto the streets. And they do this so their children will leave because they know they're a burden on them. Current time. Joe tells Dieter that he has seen the concentration camps and the horror of it. Flashback. Dieter and Reinhardt and Greta now are trying to escape from Berlin. The city in, is in ruins. Unfortunately, they run into Alfred who senses that they are trying to escape in a struggle for Alfred's gun. Reinhardt is shot in the leg and he cannot go on. So Dieter and Greta must continue on their way. As they leave Reinhardt, they hear two shots and don't look back. They travel. Dieter, as they travel, Dieter and Greta come upon a farmhouse. Inside, the, they find a family who are all dead. And they're all around the kitchen table with a bunch of food. And they eat some of the food. Greta also finds another a flute that she loves just to play. Finally, they reach un Uncle Walter's farm, and they find out that Marcus has been there. Marcus Rothstein. He was a Jew who was Dieter's friend, but he didn't want to admit it, because he didn't want to get beat up. And he's been hiding there for years, living in a small underground shelter. Russian soldiers arrive at the farm and believe Dieter is an SS soldier, but unfortunately, they for him, he does not have a tattoo, and Marcus also stands up for him by reciting a Jewish prayer. They eat a meal, and then Greta and Dieter go to look for Can Canadian soldiers, and then that's when they meet Joe at the beginning of the book. Joe promises that he will help them get to Canada. Other Canadian soldiers arrive. They will take Dita, Dieter and Greta to a refugee camp. They also have great news that Hitler is now Hitler is now dead and the war is over. So that and that's the end of the book. That's the ending to Flames of a Tiger, the book, and check out over in the sidebar. And you can try and look that up if you want, but you don't have to.